Manifest is ready to head back into the air and offer everything that it lacked the last time. It's pretty ironic that the show was canceled and they got another chance on Netflix, much like how our beloved 828ers apparently died on the flight and came back to life. Even though NBC decided to cancel Manifest, Netflix decided to step in and save the day, as always. It's already been confirmed that we're getting a final season of Manifest, but is the entire cast coming back too? Here's everything we know so far. Contracts were canceled. Everyone knows what happens when a TV show gets canceled. The actors run off to different shows. Many cast members of Manifest will be missed in season 4, but the one person we're going to miss the most is Cal Stone himself. We've seen Cal evolve into a young teenager since the start of Manifest. He started off as just a little kid, but he totally impressed us with his exceptional callings. Anyone who's followed the show over three seasons is pretty attached to Cal at this point. However, our young little Cal, played by Jack Messina, is no longer part of the show. This makes sense though since we saw a grown-up version of him already in the season 3 finale. Jack is being replaced by Ty Doran as an older, teenager version of Cal. Another main character that we'll miss seeing on screen is Grace Stone. The wife and mother played a great supporting role during the past three seasons, especially when she was the only one not getting these mysterious callings. However, Grace, who is played by Athena Karkanis, won't be returning to the show in season 4 for obvious reasons. Grace is, in fact, dead. And if you don't remember, then it was Angelina who had kidnapped Eden and ran. We're really looking forward to seeing what happens next. Who's coming back? Thankfully, there are still some familiar faces on the show. Our favorite Stone siblings, played by Josh Dallas and Melissa Roxburgh, are both returning to steer Manifest towards the big finale. We're obviously expecting to see Detective Jared Vasquez, played by none other than J.R. Ramirez, back on the show too, especially now that he's discovered Sanvi was behind the death of the Major. Oops, forgot to mention Spoiler alert, even though we're getting an older version of Cal in Season 4, it's about time that he and Olive actually started looking like twins. Speaking of Olive, Luna Blaze is all set to return to the cast as well. We wonder how Blaze and Doran will look alongside each other as twins now. Two characters that played key roles in Season 4 were Sanvi, played by Parveen Kaur, and Angelina, played by Holly Taylor. Both of them have confirmed their return to the sets of Manifest, bringing some crazy and chaos with them, of course. One character from Manifest that we only got to see once in a while was Robert Vance, the NSA director. The vibe he brings to the show is unmatched. It's only fair that Netflix decided to promote Daryl Edwards' character to a series regular. We can't wait to see more of his sass on screen this year. The only cast member that Netflix struggled to get their hands on was Matt Long, or Zeke as we know him. Matt originally had a scheduling conflict because he decided to do an NBC pilot for Getaway back when Manifest was cancelled. Thankfully, Matt is officially back for the fourth season and will be completing his Manifest journey just as he was supposed to. New faces on the show. Like every other episode of Manifest, we will definitely be seeing new characters in Manifest Season 4. I mean, what's a new episode of Manifest without a new passenger resurfacing and causing chaos? There will be at least four new additions to the cast. Henry Kim, Kyle Voigt, Tella, and June. As far as we know, Henry Kim will be playing the most significant role out of these four. He's described as an Asian male who appears frail and thin, as per the casting description. The character is, yet again, one of the passengers of Flight 828 who had returned to Singapore when the plane came back. That explains why the Stones never got a hold of him before. Kim goes through a military tribunal, as the general public was afraid of the passengers rising. We aren't fully sure, but he might have been executed by the Singaporean government later. We think it's better to let Ben and Michaela handle the backstories of every passenger. It's certainly not something we can do. Michaela might find out about Kim from her new captain, Kate Bowers. Perhaps his death is the reason why Michaela ends up quitting her job as a detective. The rest of the three new cast members will only be playing minor roles on the show. Boyd is another undiscovered passenger from 828, reportedly an indigenous from the Hopi tribe. As for Tella and June, they are both indigenous. Tella is from the Shinecock Indian Nation, and June is from the Hopi tribe, but is currently bedridden. We wonder why. Will everyone be older? Many fans have been speculating a time jump in Season 4. Of course, that would make sense as the much-anticipated death date is in 2024. But here's the real question. Will all the cast members be older? We already know that Cal is finally going to be his teenage self, much like the way we've seen Olive since the very beginning. As for the rest of the cast, aging a few years wouldn't mean too much for them. We imagine the Stones to look the same, Zeke a little older, and Detective Vasquez as young as ever. Now that Manifest has a handsome budget, we think they could experiment with something like a time jump to make the show more intriguing. Creator and executive producer Jeff Rake said that he has already pitched a bunch of 
twists and turns to Netflix regarding the Manifest story. He also added that these 20 extra episodes from Netflix will let him tell the story that he always wanted to. Maybe the time jump was already on the roadmap that Rake describes, or maybe they only decided to include it this time around. How did Manifest come back to life? If you've been following Manifest since season one like a true fan, then you probably know that it was canceled by NBC. Even when the show started getting a lot of attention back in summer 2021, neither NBC nor Netflix were willing to take a chance on it. Interestingly, the creators didn't even have to lift a finger to get Netflix to renew the series. In fact, the fans spoke for themselves. Everyone on social media was tweeting, Save Manifest, including Stephen King. Writers on BuzzFeed and Forbes questioned Netflix's decision too. Even celebrities like Kourtney Kardashian and Demi Lovato jumped on the bandwagon and said they had binged Manifest ever since it came on Netflix. But that wasn't all. It was the numbers that spoke loudest of all. Even after being canceled, Manifest remained in the top 10 list on Netflix for months, and that's what saved it from disappearing into thin air, quite literally this time. What to expect in Manifest Season 4? Now that Manifest is finally returning with all of its twists and turns, fans have a lot of high expectations. Creator Jeff Rake said that he might have to squeeze a few seasons worth of plot into just 20 episodes, but the endgame won't change at all. Now, let's talk about what's going on with the characters. Ben has just gone through a major loss, and even that is an understatement. So, well, he has a new beard. We don't know how to feel about that change, but we do feel bad for Ben. Season 4 for Ben will be centered around processing such a huge loss, and then seeking vengeance. We already know that Ben has a habit of justifying everything that a passenger, or anyone with a calling, does. We wonder how he'll be able to justify Angelina's brutal doing. We still don't know where Eden is either. Nobody knows where Angelina took him. Speaking of things we don't know of, where has Cal disappeared to? Is he really back at his teenage version, as we saw in the season 3 finale? Or was that just Grace's calling? And not to forget, there's some serious love triangle drama going on between Michaela, Zeke, and Jared. Hopefully Michaela will finally come to terms with her true feelings and decide who she wants to be with. When is season 4 coming? In response to Stephen King asking about when Manifest would return, creator Jeff Rake said, I'm hearing November. We can expect to binge the first part of Manifest season 4 in late 2022. And yes, you heard me right, the first part. It's becoming a habit of Netflix to release seasons in two halves, and Manifest isn't being treated any different. Apparently, the 20-episode season is set to be released in two batches, Money Heist style. And that's a wrap for this video. Which cast member are you most excited to see back on Manifest? Do you have any theories of your own about Flight 828? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Until next time!